Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we've got the Virtue Slow Endurance Sunday race. Now these races are quickly becoming my usual Sunday morning thing and actually they're really really enjoyable but really difficult as well. These are some testing courses and today is no exception. We're on the 2022 Cycling Esports World Championship route in New York. So this is 55 kilometers long. 941 meters of elevation gain, a really, really tough course. Now today we didn't have a massive field. Uh, we had, I think, five or six of us, um, but we did have uh, Di Brecco, I think, who's won uh, last week's race. So I knew that he would be very dangerous and a couple of others that looked like they had some good watts per kilogram. So a really interesting one today. Now, Let's talk categories. So the same as last week. So we're using ZMAP, which is the five or four to five minutes best power, which put me in pen C for this one. So not your usual um, Zwift A to D categories. I also weighed myself before the race, uh, like I normally do. And uh, not to my surprise, I was about one and a half kilos heavier than normal. Uh, now I did put this down to some overindulgence as I've been on holiday um, and I can't stop eating crackers and Philadelphia at the moment after my evening meal. So that was a bit annoying, but you know, it's just one of those things really. And I'm sure I will, I will lose that pretty quickly. So on with the action then, and we come up to the first little incline, the little bit of a tester, but this is really early on. So we're only 2.3 miles in at the moment. And uh, the field, the uh, first five of us are pretty much stuck together here. So no real dramas. No one's really trying to uh, get away or anything like that. Everyone's being a little bit cagey, which um, I do find is the norm at the start of these races. But uh, this is kind of the main first talking point, And this is the, uh, the kind of long incline up to the top of the, uh, the finishing banner. Um, obviously, it's at New York KOM as well. So, yeah, once again, I'm just trying to draft the best I can up here and see if anyone makes any moves. I want to see who the strongest person is up this one. Um, but yeah, no one's really sort of doing too much. Um, now, for me, I knew this was going to be around about a six. Um, well, I thought it was going to be about a five to six minute effort um, up this one. So, yeah, I do drop back a little bit here, but I'm kind of like I feel pretty comfortable trying to get on. Although my face is telling something completely different. And as we come through the banner, uh, we're all pretty much together, which is absolutely fine. And then I get a little bit of a rest down here. Off comes the top. Apologies for that, as always. Um, but uh, yeah, I was I was feeling it a little bit, to be honest with this one. Now, New York and, um, you know, this map is very, very up and down. So there's not really a load of time to rest or it's not really consistent power. You're kind of surging and recovering all the time. And for those of you that have watched before, you probably know that that is really not my strong point at all. Although I did get a, a win just around the normal sort of park perimeter loop before. Now, as you can see here, Breco and Harris uh, have made a little bit of a break. I don't really want to bring them back at all at this point, um, but I end up doing that because I know that Breco is uh, is the danger. So I kind of, um, I, I don't drag anyone with me, which is quite interesting. So yeah, the three of us are now in this group and I think we're going to work together um, and sort of pull away. But the others kind of come back to us and then one of them falls off the back again. Um, and eventually we kind of, the four of us are together. We've got Soria, who is a little bit behind here, the Spanish um, person there. But uh, yeah, we seem to be sort of working OK. But around about this point again, uh, I don't know what it was, but um, we're kind of not really doing that many watts. We're, everyone's just recovering, uh, I think, the best they can. Like Soria now is 33 seconds behind. So that is quite a, a gap. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that that is the last we'll see of that. That particular person but uh, as you can probably see in a second amazingly they uh, they managed to make their way back because we are just not working at all you can see I'm in zone one there um, and in fact Soria is back on the group now um, as we're sort of coming round uh, this part of the course so that's that's an interesting one and then Harris drops off the back so it's a really it's a really strange race because I'm not sure if they're just dropping off the back because they're tired or they just I don't know not concentrating but once again we're all we're all back together here and Harris is now making a little bit of an effort and uh, yeah I'm, I just I don't look I don't want to get left behind especially in these fields that are quite short uh, so we've got this incline again and I'm I'm really struggling now I'm really feeling quite bad 
Um, I don't know whether it was the early morning start or I didn't fuel properly. I'm not really sure, but I'm not feeling too great, to be honest with you. Um, and sorry, has dropped back a little bit again, but then they sort of power through. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to follow. All I'm going to do is follow this one. And uh, I see we've got like a three second gap, four second gap, five second gap. And it's just going up and up and up. And I know that we've got the KOM coming up. So I want to make uh, the gap as big as I possibly can to give uh, myself enough chance, enough leeway up the, uh, up the incline because I've got a really nasty feeling that I'm going to drop um, and that I won't be able to last the rest of this race. And there's still quite a long way to go. Uh, you know, we've got pretty much 15.7 miles left in this race. So yeah, the gap is around about 11 seconds uh, or maybe just under 10 seconds as we, we come to the the incline now, the KOM, and I'm going to just try and hold a steady power of kind of like around 300, um, maybe surge if I need to, but I'm really struggling. I'm really not feeling this at all. And uh, the others are now with me, so they kind of blast her, and I'm going to try and give it a, a final attempt to stay with them as, uh, as Jake reminded me last week or a couple of weeks ago to just do your best until you absolutely pop. And uh, yeah, off they go. I'm doing 400 watts, so, you know, I'm doing my best here and I just, at this point, I know that there's nothing left at all. I've got nothing left, le left in the legs. And unfortunately, that is the last I see of those four riders. With 14 and a half miles left, you know, what do I do? Um, so as you can see, I'm just uh, trying now to uh, zone two my way to the finish. And it's an interesting one. So what would you have done? Would you have switched off at that point and just ended the race? Um, an hour in or you know would you have continued um, sorry um, or the Spanish rider they they sort of dropped out um, as uh, you know at that point but you know I decided that I wanted to sort of zone to my way to the finish and actually complete the course because it's a course that I hadn't finished before but uh, yeah what is it what is it you, you think that I should have done um, because I don't know. It was a long, you know, it was, as you can see, it's like almost another 40 minutes um, as I'm coming up the, uh, the KOM again. So that's, that's quite a long time to ride solo. But I thought, you know, it was still going to be a decent workout anyway if I can continued. And um, I don't know, I just kept thinking of a phrase. So one of the phrases that stuck with me from a film, um, Indiana Jones, I love Indiana Jones uh, movies, and The Last Crusade, where the young Indy um, has to give back one of the artefacts that he, um, he's kind of like, stolen and wants to be in a museum the baddie actually said to him he said you may not have won this time but that doesn't mean you have to like it and that was what I was thinking all the way through you know what it's not a win um, I don't like it but you know what I've done something you know productive at the end of this and uh, lesson learned I would say so you're not always going to win the race and uh, yeah I'm, I was just at the end happy with uh, the fact that I managed to finish it off. But you probably can't tell that from my face right now. I, uh, I am pretty disappointed. Anyway so I've uh, stuck up the Zwift power results as you can see on screen and um, yeah it also wasn't terrible because I've as you can see also uh, managed to improve my FTP by a couple um, again which was great. Um, so, you know, not not all bad. And I did close to my best five minute power that I've, you know, done of all time. So anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.